anyway, it's moving day. <laughs> it's, oh God, it's the only way I could really sit down properly on the floor because I don't really have that much furniture yet. Never thought that I'd make it this far. The life that I'm living right now is a dream that I could have never imagined because going through cancer once and then going through it again, but like that twice wasn't already enough and just facing cancer twice in my lifetime at the age of 23 is insane. And I'm extremely grateful to be alive because I just, I'm so appreciative of life in general and I never thought that I'd make it this far because I would dream of having a life after cancer and I never thought that I'd even make it to a point to where I wouldn't have to deal with cancer anymore. And even to this day, like I, I still think about cancer all the time because it's just every single pain that I get, I immediately assume the worst, which probably is the greatest thing. And I just, I always think that cancer is gonna come back because just the life that I've lived. And it's scary to be done with cancer in two weeks. <laughs> I don't know why I looked at my watch, it's not telling me the date, but I know I've been counting the days to dream of a day to where I could finally say that I'm cancer free in two weeks and officially be done is terrifying because I've dealt with cancer for the past eight years and seven years, I can't remember, since 2016. And it's just imagining a life after cancer is what scares me because I never thought that I'd have a life after cancer. And I wanted to move out to sort of represent this new chapter in my life to where I have a normal life. Like, you know, I, just, I don't know to where I don't have to keep looking over my shoulder of where cancer may, come, may or may not come back. But in reality, I know that I'm always gonna be worrying about if I get cancer or not again because I've already had to deal with it twice and I've already been told that I was cancer free more than once and it was false. <laughs> so I'm just always gonna have to sort of deal with that sort of fear and it's kind of just gotten to the point where I need to be content with that and just learn how to live with that because that's just the life that I live. I, I, I never know how to feel about beating cancer just because I there's times where I don't think that I'm worthy of it. Like I've had so many friends pass away to cancer. You, you would make friends on the hospital floor and people would disappear and you would kind of just assume for the best. But then the next day you would hear what happened and it would just, it would, it would break. It was just, it sucked, man, because I, I had the good side of cancer. I had the easier side of it and the people that were going through it, that was going through it way worse than I was, didn't make it. And I wish that they did. And it just, it feels, feels like I'm unworthy at times. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about beating cancer, which sounds terrible, but I just, I wish that they did too. And it sucks because it's taking me so long to get here. In, I mean, it's in two weeks and it's hard. I'm already getting emotional. Ah, and it's just, I've had to deal with this for so long and to finally be done is exciting and it's scary and it's, there's a lot of emotion because it's an eight year battle. <laughs> and it's just, I couldn't have done any of this without you guys. And I wanted to start making videos for the person that I didn't have. There was never a person out there that knew what I was going through, that has had cancer, that could process all this emotions and just to just explain it in a way to where, I don't know, that made cancer easier in some sort of way. So I wanted to make videos for that person, for my 15 year old self that was going through cancer, for my 17 year old self that was dying. And I never realized how many more people that it could have reached from just my videos. And I'm so glad that it did because I, re I see the comments all the time and I can't thank you guys enough for just the love and your support because I just want to be able to help that person that is going through this. You guys have given me a life that I never even thought I'd have. And for that, I'm extremely grateful and I can never thank you guys enough for that because I am excited for this new chapter in my life to where to be officially done with cancer in a couple weeks. And I just, I can't thank you guys enough for that. So here's to living. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a little cloudy here in Washington, but I'm super excited to finally get some furniture and to finally not be sitting on the floor in a bit. <laughs> so.